Karamba suggests Mnangagwa should use presidential powers to take over control of CCC-run Harare Council. President Emerson Mnangagwa spokesperson George Karamba has suggested that he invokes presidential powers and take over control of the Citizens' Coalition for Change CCC-run Harare City Council. Posting on X, Karamba argued that infighting within the CCC had incapacitated Harare's council against a raging cholera outbreak. The opposition party is currently embroiled in a tug of war for power which threatens to cost Mayor Jacob Mafume's position. He stands accused of siding with self-appointed Secretary General Senjizo Chibango who has been withdrawing opposition leader Nelson Chamisa's legislators and councillors at will. Although Mafume was fired by Chamisa on Tuesday, the decision is yet to affect him as local government minister Winston Chitondo has already been told not to announce a vacancy for his post by state favorite Chibango. Despite government battling to contain the national disaster Karamba believes a takeover of the capital's administration would go a long way in reversing failures of CCC's administration. With the paralysis which CCC infighting has wrought on city of Harare, and given the raging cholera pandemic, it is about time the local government minister approached His Excellency the President with the proposal to use presidential powers to bring Harare municipality under direct state administration. There is a good case now using the public health argument. The state is doing much of the work anyway, said Karamba using his at Donzamu 007 account on X. Since the pandemic's February outbreak 18, 623 cases have been recorded, with Harare accounting for 6,789, the highest of Zimbabwe's 10 provinces. 56 suspected deaths have been recorded in Harare, the official epicenter of this recent cholera outbreak. As if to mock fishes within the CCC, Karamba suggested appointing the fired Mafume to head a team that would be appointed by Umningogwa to rehabilitate council and manage the cholera outbreak. Even better politics would be to reappoint Doink Mafume to lead the new rescue creature created under presidential powers Vizikeni Koko, he added. There seems no end in sight for the pandemic which has been exported to Limpopo and Zambia according to media reports that reveal two Zimbabweans are being treated in South Africa while the northern neighbors have already begun emergency measures. Zimbabwe has had constant cholera outbreaks since the early 2000s most of which have caused headaches for its government as there are not enough hospitals, nurses, doctors and resources to handle it. Please like, comment, Share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news crypto.